And what's up guys and girls, JBDSC Peril here. Today I'm going to be showing you my most recent build on Diablo 3 pre the new expansion Reaper of Souls. Um, I'm currently sitting at about 190,000 um, DPS. It's alright, toughness is pretty low, same with healing. Um, but I'm going to show you what I call the support build. Now I was playing around with different things and I managed to come up with this, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now before I get into the skill usage and what it's all about, let's look at my gear. I got a couple new cool things. Um, Gladiator Gauntlets, after um, earning Massacre bonuses, which are no problem. Gold rains from the sky, so I've been getting a, a decent amount of gold. Um, and what else did I get that's new? I made this weapon here, Blood Magic Blade. Um, it doesn't have any primary stats. I can easily get one a lot better, but that's actually pretty decent. Um, and I've been swapping out a few things. But in terms of this build, you do not have to worry about your gear set. Um, just customize to the you know the best of your ability because this is what we call the support build. And we're going to be looking at supporting our allies on the battlefield. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk about the most underestimated or undervalued skill that the Witch Doctor has. Nobody, I, I never see anyone use Wall of Zombies. Wall of Zombies is very handy, especially on Torment level 6 and 5 kind of thing when it starts to get really difficult. We're on one for the purpose of this video, but Wall of Zombies with the knock all enemies um, away, the offensive line, knock all enemies behind the wall, really handy. It just, what it does is it, it keeps them at distance, which is really crucial to support. Now at the same time, I wanted to use... Um, you know, be able to have a certain amount of DPS with my particular character, but also have allies with DP DPS as well, which a lot of people don't use the minion functions anymore. Um, so Fetish Army, Summon Zombie Dogs, and Voodoo are all used. But here's our main. I use Fire Bats. Now, if you notice my AoE Roundup build, I use Fire Bats Cloud of Bats Room. Here I'm using Vampire Bats. Why? Because the DPS is actually really good. I can create about, or I hit about 1.5 mil. Um, quite consistently with that actually um, and it only uses mana once so it's not going to drain my mana I can't use cloud of bats because I don't have the mana regen that is needed but it's still good DPS now we're going to look at spirit walk I have it on just because I really enjoy spirit walk get around fast and um, since this isn't a mana heavy build you can put whatever rune you want on I put the jaunt rune just because I like that duration especially against elites so they can't really do anything new um, now summon zombie dogs now I got them, they're my life stealers. Once again, I don't have the 3% on my weapon anymore. I uh, I just have life on hit, which keeps me alive, surprisingly. Um, and I just have leeching beasts on them. Fetish army, um, really good. Now this is something I really noticed. The fetish ambush is a beast. Once you play that and you summon them, they're, they're critically like 300, 400,000 sometimes each. Um, it's, it's absolutely insane. So I mean, I'm just getting like millions and millions of damage done once especially for bosses really good and gargantuan i like to put the elite um rune on restless giant so let's look at the passive runes first off this is really important because you want more or less a big army when you cast a physical realm spell you have a five percent chance to summon obviously uh if you're looking there fire bats is one of them i have um also my wall of zombies on there as well so by using those, um, I get a ton of little fetishes. Pierce the Veil, that's for your damage, and reduce all damage taken, which is really good. So I'll show you guys why this is the support build. Alright, now, I got my guy summoned here, we're against a goblin. Just hit him real quick. That uh, would've been nice to get a nice little legendary drop on this. But I'll show you why. It is so nice, it keeps guys at bay, like really far away from me. And the DPS is nice. The combination of having a decent DPS main attack and having all these minions, it's beautiful. It is just lovely. Keeps them at a distance. It's like the best combo. So yes, it is support, mainly to you know help allies, but it does a lot of DPS at the same time. So this skill I use, the fire bats, does crit. Or I don't know if it's critically, but it hits about 1.5 mil at times. Generally around 800k. Not bad. But I got this. So this here is a good example. I use Wall of Zombies. What's happening? They're at bay. They're away from me. And my minions will stack up along the wall. And it, if you have a ranged team, you can just keep them away from you forever. So it is absolutely beautiful like that. Look, I just pushed them back. Kept them away. Really nice. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick, guys. Of course. Here, I'll get another example. Push them back. They get on the other side of the wall. I just hold this down. Not losing mana. And my minions just do their thing. Let's say, oh, push them back. 
stays away. Now I do have a pretty good party and it's T1, but you'll really see the use of this in higher torment levels. Um, it just keeps guys away because you can just spam that, knocks them back, they stay on that side, your minions follow the wall, and then they just can't get by and you just slaughter them with this. So anyhow guys and girls, that is my Witch Doctor support build pre um, Souls or whatever, Reaper Souls patch or expansion. I hope you guys like it. Um, like it, like it, just like it, just like it, and share the video. Thanks.